Challenger. Welcome, guys and gals. This is Frog Prince Rana, and today we will debunk another flat Earth video, and this time involving compass. I'm quite excited, as in all my other videos, I haven't handled compass yet, and I'm a sucker for magnet. Let's check out the claim first, shall we? Where does a compass point? Uh, north. Okay. Where's north? Okay, to be exact, compasses point to the north magnetic pole up in the Arctic Circle. Yeah, that makes total sense on a flat Earth. Here we have David Weiss moving a compass around the flat Earth with his compass continually pointing at his north magnetic pole. Stop laughing, guys. So, the format of this video. First, a quick explanation of compass and magnet. Hey, don't blame me and roll your eyes. If these people understood those, we wouldn't be talking about it today. Then we'll talk about what causes the magnetic poles and the nuances. Finally, understanding why compass fits the globe model and falls flat on a flat world. See what I did there? Actually, let's start from magnet. It is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. This field is invisible. It has two different magnetic poles called the North and South Pole. Now that was a circular definition. The problem here is we also have the word magnetic in our lexicon, which causes this confusion. So magnetic force is attraction or repulsion that arises between electrically charged particles. This is a very simple definition. A magnet contains electrons that have both uneven orbits and uneven spins. Those magnetic atoms are aligned in nice straight rows inside each domain. And those domains are also lined up all in the same direction. And only with all those conditions satisfied, a piece of metal become a magnet. Finally, magnetic poles of the same charge repel each other. Thus, the North Pole with another pole, the South Pole and with another South Pole are repelled, where the opposite poles attract each other. Moving on. Now, Earth is not a magnet, but has a magnetic field. We will come back to why later. If we take a bar magnet and allow it to move freely, after it settles down, one end of that magnet will be pointing to what we call North Pole and the other end would be pointing to South Pole. As it is the opposite pole that attracts, it is actually the South Pole of the magnet that is pointing North and vice versa. This is in essence what a compass is. Most of us learned how to make a compass when we were little. We simply took a needle and rub the magnet on one end a bunch of times. That would magnetize the needle. Finally, we would stick it in a cork and float it in water. Obviously, a better method is to turn the magnet around and rub the other end of the needle. But the lazy method also worked. Assume the magnet that we used was not marked. And if we only rubbed one end, there is 50-50 chance that we either rubbed the north side or the south side. But that doesn't matter because... Well, let's see some diagram. We have our magnet A fixed in place. Then we approach one end with another magnet and the same polarity. The magnet in our hand would want to ripple away from that end, exactly as expected. Let's introduce another magnet. This one is also fixed. This time, our magnet in hand is rippled by the magnet in left and attracted towards the magnet in right, again as expected. Why am I showing these obvious examples? Well, simply to state that fact that North is not special. To illustrate, let's get back to our DIY compass. This image is just for illustration. When we rub the magnet across the metal, we are in essence aligning the electrons in the same direction. Now, if you have a long screwdriver and rub the tip, you will notice that the tip can now hold screws, but not the metal part near the handle. 
Obviously, it makes sense, as in a way, you align the electrons near the bottom. Similar thing happens when you rubbed only one part of the needle. Then when put it on a cork, one can visualize that one side of the cork has no force and all the movement is coming from the other side. 50-50 chance that side with the field might be North Pole, in which case that end would point South or might be South Pole and pointing North. We at the end look at the needle and paint one end red to signify North or we make sure to rub that end with magnet South Pole to begin with. So yes, North isn't special. My homemade compass might be working by pointing towards South. I'm hoping that I made sense so far. That's all for compass. Let's quickly run through Earth's magnetic field and then talk about why it fails in flat Earth. When I was little, I used to open every toy car to get to the motor. Inside was two pieces of magnet and an electromagnet around a spindle. Finally, some brush connection to reverse the electromagnet polarity. Simple and elegant. In that system, we converted electricity into magnetic field. Similar thing happens with celestial bodies and we call this mechanism dynamo effect. In the core of the planet, there is a dense layer of hot liquid metal. This metal is rich in iron and it is spinning. This spinning of hot magnetic metal is what produces magnetic field lines. These lines run perpendicular to the direction of spin. Hence, even though art is spinning around its axis, the field lines come out of the point of the axis, the north and south poles. What would happen if there were no rotation of the earth? Well, there would be no magnetic force. Oh, by the way, Earth's magnetic field changes and is changing. We had previously estimated that every few hundred thousand years or so on average, this field flips, which means magnetic north becomes magnetic south and vice versa. But recent studies show that it can possibly change much faster. Which brings me to flat earth. It is simple to stick a magnet in middle of a flat earth map to demonstrate a compass behavior. But it is a completely different matter trying to explain the cause of that magnetic field in real world. As we have seen earlier, on our globe earth, our compass might really be using south pole for indication. Now to compensate for that, flat earth not only needs a north in the middle, but also south all around their rim as the needle rubbing compass works everywhere in world. And if the entire rim has a south pole field, well, then it behaves unlike any magnetic field that we know of. When we manufacture magnets, well, there are bar magnets, disc magnets, magnets with holes in it. Oh dear, did I just sound like the guy from Dust Till Dawn? Moving on. While creating, we decide on the manufacturing which would determine the final field. It can be half and half in depth or it can be half in middle. But in every case, it creates a predictable pattern that we can all test out at home. You can see the patterns on screen. We similarly have the pattern for planet Earth. Now really, crying out loud, how does flat earther with half a brain even bring up a compass? Don't answer that. It was an oxymoron statement. Hopefully, I have been able to explain magnet, how compass works, and that the north doesn't matter. South is just as important. A rotating globe earth accounts for the magnetic field and behaves exactly like any other magnetic field. Whereas in flat earth, watching this video will make you think that north is all there is to it. If those claims understood magnet, then they must understand their model has to make the outer rim another pole. Now, before any flat earthers jumps to a claim that it is like a manufactured magnet, where the inside of the disc is north. Well, it doesn't work that way. But we can still imagine having a bunch of bar magnets next to each other in a circular fashion. 
would that do the trick i'm feeling lazy and naughty if a flat earther does fall for my obvious trap well that will give me material for another video finally without the rotation I guess explanation of the magnetic field in a flat earth would just be God did it. Here's our compass on a globe. Does that look like it's pointing north to you? Uh no. That looks like it's pointing to outer space. I've never really thought about it like that before. So, what happens when we move our person even farther south into Antarctica? Does that look like it's pointing north? No, it looks even farther away from north. Did I mention that I'm single? Surprising, right? With all my charm. So, I find almost every female charming, especially one with a lovely voice. When I saw this video the first time, I was thinking to myself, "Run, dear girl, run away from that man. You deserve to be in better company." If we look only at the illustration, at a surface level it makes sense but real life is nothing like that illustration let's bring it down to earth google earth that is we will go near my house and move down to street level view for those who have seen my video trying to explain angular size to flat earthers this is the grassy area all the photos were taken from now if we had a compass it would be pointing this way Now suppose I wasn't a complete moron and holding the compass perpendicularly to the ground whichever way it was pointing to I would be looking at that direction I would not be imagining a line extended from the compass pin 3d axis outwards I hope no one is that dumb and obviously as I move towards north I'm approaching magnetic north pole which is not the same as geographical north pole Now if someone did think about north being in the direction with 3d axis almost like a laser light well technically if we do follow that laser line we would still be moving towards the direction of north right but i'm just being silly here well this is where we end this video thank you so much for watching and i do hope that you have enjoyed it in that case can i please do the normal begging like comment and even subscribe that will really help my tiny channel grow and if you have liked this you will like my other contents i promise wherever you are have a safe day signing off